It's the WTTS Background Check with Matt Pelser. Today, we're looking at one of my personal favorites. And unlike most background checks, this one doesn't mark an anniversary or a birthday of some kind. I'm just doing this one because I like it. And I hope you do, too. Here we go. When Peter Gabriel left Genesis, it was at the end of a challenging time, a time that left him disillusioned with the music business. He wanted to spend more time with his family, and that was that. That's what he wanted at the time. But as we've seen since then, Peter Gabriel needs to make music. So when that feeling came back, he looked for inspiration. This song came to him on a walk around Bath, England and nearby Salisbury Hill, which is a gorgeous place. And there he had what he called a spiritual experience. And from that experience, he wrote a song that he later said was ultimately about, and these are his words, being prepared to lose what you have for what you might get. You could easily parallel that to quitting Genesis for a solo career, and many have. He liked the song, but he didn't think it should be on his debut album. He was convinced otherwise, and it became his first solo single. The song owes a lot of its uniqueness to its 7-4 time signature, which turns into 4-4 at the end of each chorus. Peter Gabriel said that he likes watching the audience try to figure out how to dance to it. It's Salisbury Hill, during which I almost always have my own personal spiritual experience. This morning's WTTS background check.